friends uh, I'm sh I'll be sharing with you today the vision that I was actually I'll continue with that vision um, in which the Lord had showed me that the church was not ready for his coming and um, he had given me few steps uh, to share with the bride so they can be ready because the coming of the Lord is very closer you know when the Lord starts to show uh, dreams and visions on a large scale and um, the different people in different countries are almost having the same kind of dreams and visions uh, as well as uh, you know in my case I have heard audible voice of the Lord also and uh, actually in my next video I will share with you the personal Jesus Christ appears appeared to me personally and what he said and what he did and how he showed me that he had by uh, you know uh, doing something which I don't want to share here but he showed me that he has chosen me and um, you know, to do his work and to take his message so uh, but uh, today I'll just give you a short summary of the vision that I was already sharing with you in the last uh, uh, video and that was that I had entered into a in this vision that Lord showed me that I entered into a large hall and um, as I was walking down the hall, I saw, uh, you know, that it was kind of empty hall, but there were chairs uh, against the wall. It was a big hall and there was a whole line of chairs and sofas, but all against the wall. And uh, then I heard some footsteps behind me and it was Paul Wilbur. And Paul Wilbur was walking inside, coming towards me and uh, not that all the way to me, but he was just walking inside, the, uh, entering the hall too. And then there were some people that were from the fire department and they came in and uh, we are not talking to each other and I was looking at the floor, I don't know why, and I am telling the, uh, just speaking, you know, the, uh, the uh, floor looks clean, the hall looks clean. But then uh, I just, all of a sudden, I just go and start to move <clears throat> the chairs. And when I moved the chair, there was a lot of dirt hidden behind those chairs. And I started to pick up the dirt and I, you know, th threw it out, come back, pick, pick some more and throw it out. And uh, I saw Paul Wilbur is doing the same and the fire department people were doing the same and no one is talking to each other. So I, uh, you know, um, slowly, the, the, when it ended, so I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what, what did it, uh, this all meant? And uh, he said, um, I've actually shared this part in the previous videos, but just a short summary that the Lord was saying that I'll be sending you to the churches. So the detailed message, when I share it in the church, I tell, uh, you know, what needs to be done. So uh, the Lord said, you will go. That's why you are in the hall. Hall is my dwelling place, my church, my bride. And I'm sending you so that you can share with the people and people will listen to the message and hopefully bring changes in their lives. And the same about Paul Wilbur, he's doing, he's cleaning up the church also. And uh, he, by worship, because when you worship, there is a anointing that is released that cleanses the church. And third, the, the today I will be sharing about the last part of this vision. And that was the fire department people. And I said, Lord, what are these fire, uh, fire department people uh, are doing here and um, what is their purpose? So it was exactly the same. And it's, the Lord said the fire department represents the fire of the Holy Spirit. And I was kind of very excited. I said, oh, wonderful. If that is a fire, um, uh, fire of uh, the Holy Spirit, something good is coming and which it is good actually. But uh, the Lord took me to Matthew 3.11 and he said in Matthew 3.11 there John is talking about that there is one coming after me and he will baptize you with the spirit and with fire. So these are the two different baptisms with, with spirit is that when we accept Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit comes inside of us. But the fire, is, the purpose of the fire is to burn away the things from our lives that should not be there. Both are the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Both are the functions of the Holy Spirit. He sanctifies us, separates us, cleanses us, leads us, guides us, transforms us. <laughs> So the Holy Spirit is the one that when we say fire of the Holy Spirit, that is what the purpose is in these end times. 
because the rapture is getting closer and uh, so um, so the lord is saying that because the rapture is getting closer so my people uh, need to be ready for my coming and um, and he said that is why the fire is being allowed and the, it is not to any kind of judgment um, you know when we talk about judgment doesn't mean judgments is simply like warnings warning so we change our lifestyle so it, it's not like that judgment is just you're straight going to hell it's not like that so judgments always come with the warnings so the lord said this is um, i want is that my bride is uh, that i wanted is that the bride should be without wrinkle without spot but that's not the case and the bride is not yet ready so that is why he is allowing this because you know when um, uh, gold goes through the fire it comes out purer the same is with the bride when the we go through tests and trials when we even paul and uh, you know peter and all of these apostles went through even jesus said to peter you know that um, you will be the uh, satan has uh, you know desire to sift you but i have prayed that your faith fail not so the thing is jesus why don't you just stop the satan so sometimes the lord allows the, you know some trial to come just to prepare us make us stronger help us to grow in our faith so uh, you know i can go into a lot of detail but i don't want so the thing is that is what is still happening and and we are allowed many times to go through some t trials and tests just to make us purer like gold and um, and what happens is when we go through tests and trials we all of a sudden we spend more time with the lord we are more on our knees we are more reading the word so we are doing that so we are growing our faith is growing our uh, you know there is a strength coming in there is no fear now when we spend time with the lord anything is happening whatever you know we go through we go through it and we are not there uh, just don't stay in in the middle of that so that is what it is just the lord like a good parent if he has to discipline his children just to make sure that they are ready for what he has predestined for us because the lord has predestined purposes for each one of us before the foundations of the world so he will make sure that we get to our purpose and and work for the kingdom and and bring souls into the kingdom and uh, so because majority in the church people they, they just think that we come and attend church service and we go but it is not that every person who becomes a believer there is an assignment there is a predestined purpose that person needs to fulfill that predestined purpose and we just cannot come and just sit and receive and go back and do nothing so every person has a purpose and every per person is given a, an assignment and they need to recognize it and start to do it so the lord said this is what the purpose of the uh, uh, fire of the holy spirit is that in these end times and it is actually already happening as i go to different churches i see that people the pastors the leaders they tell me that what's going on so it's already happening you know we all at one point or the other everybody goes through some tests and trials and that kind of gets our attention and you know even revelation says in the book of revelation the lord said turn back to your first love and many times we just try to just slide away a little bit you know and um, so the lord says turn back to your first love where we seek after him where we spend time with him where we let him know you know in the middle of the night during the daytime whenever you know and it's not like one time we did so we say oh okay we did it one time it's like continuously you know like we do to our husbands wives so, you know many times boyfriends and girlfriends you talk and call and you know that is how we need to keep contact with our heavenly father uh, so this is what he said and he said because of the rapture is coming closer so he wants the bride to be ready for his coming and then he gave me four things these four things are very important so i would uh, uh, recommend that please write it down and he said tell my people to get rid of the spirit of pride and arrogance and he said this is too much prevalent in the church uh, whether you are a church goer members whether you are rich or whatever or you are a pastor or a leader or a prophet and what happens is that he said the people just get a little bit position they don't want to talk to anybody below their standard and that was happening to me when the lord got my attention uh, so um, so this is what the first thing said and i and uh, i mentioned in my first video 
uh, the pride and arrogance comes before destruction and humility comes before honor. So this is what the Lord is saying at this time to the church. We need to get rid of this pride and arrogance. Uh, otherwise, you know, we will be, that means we are walking in the darkness. The Lord even said in the Proverbs, he said, uh, I hate pride. He didn't say, I don't like it. He said, I hate pride. So that is what the thing is. If Holy Spirit is in us, we will, um, will not walk in, you know, the, our life will start to change. Even if though we were walking, it will slowly start to change because the Lord is going to get our attention in, in that uh, area. The second thing he said, tell my people to get rid of the judgmental spirit. And he said, there's too much judgmental spirit. We, we pass judgment, sitting people in the churches at each other, you know, and we are saying this person, look at this, look at her, look at him. And especially our sisters, the Lord said, the women are very jealous and sitting in the churches, they look at each other. And if somebody is wearing too much of makeup or their clothes are in a way or something, so we start to pass judgments we are sitting in the church but we are passing judgments so that is not the lifestyle of a believer uh, so the lord said tell them and he took me to luke 11 uh, looks sorry 18 and uh, in luke 18 it's very clear that the pharisee and the tax collector both of them are worshiping the tax collector is saying please forgive me lord forgive my sins and the pharisee saying oh i'm not like this tax collector and i am i'm paying my tithes i'm doing this i'm doing that so the lord said it was the tax collector who was declared righteous not the pharisee pharisee is like our pastor or or leader leadership position people in the leadership position so that is why we had the, the Lord said, tell my people to get rid of the judgmental spirit uh, and that and, um, and especially to the my sisters, you know, I walked in the same thing also nowadays nowadays what I do is I make it a point to tell my sister oh you look beautiful you this and that you know just encouraging them encouraging them and just telling them wherever you meet it doesn't matter if you are in a mall or wherever you know you are going walking around and you we should just always tell encourage people and maybe that's the only word they have heard of encouragement and um, and the third thing he said is tell my people to get rid of the self-righteous spirit and that is also a very very uh, ugly thing that goes on in the church and he said that we can again take the same example of Luke 18 the Pharisee and the tax collector so you can read it and it will tell you then you know, when he was saying I do this 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 and he doesn't do and so this is what is the self-righteous spirit and the fourth thing he said tell my people to develop love and compassion and love and compassion we very well can read uh, first corinthians chapter 13 and it gives us in detail what love is love is patient love is kind love is gentle and love is forgiving love is all of those kind of things so we have to be very careful the lord said the greatest commandment is that you love your god with all of your might and strength and love your neighbor if we cannot love our neighbors neighbors can be anybody it doesn't mean the person living next door it means anybody we meet the people in our home the people in the neighborhood the people at work people in the malls whoever wherever we are they are our neighbors so we must make sure that we are not just walking with that air uh, or the chip on our you know shoulder and uh, and looking at other people walking by you know you are um, you know below my standard or this and that you know if we can just get into the habit of uh, somebody's looking towards just saying hello and giving a smile and and um, that will make that person's day and we will feel also because i do it all the time and um, so the, the lord said this is very very important so um, i am going to be just finishing with this part only and i pray and my prayer is uh, that you know whatever in short i have shared with you um, though I go into a lot of details when I visit churches that you will uh, act according to that because this is not my message. This is the message from the Lord. God bless you.